incentivize candidates to make sure they're running these grassroots campaigns because I really believe that we're at our best when we're connecting with people. That's how we won in 2018. Whoa. And frankly, that's how Barack Obama won in 2008. And that's exactly oh what I think this will incentivize. What that's led to is <laughs> oh my God. Cory Booker. We are 5,000 <laughs> donors away from being on the debate stage in September. Candidates were serious people. I am so close to getting to 65,000 supporters, and I want you to be one of them. Please send a dollar so you can join us in guaranteeing my spot on that debate stage. Panhandling for single dollar contributions at a time. We hope you can help us. It would mean a lot. Thank you. On Instagram and Facebook they can juice the number of contributors to their campaign in order to qualify for these debates. Thank you for all your help in getting us there. Please stay with us. I know we can make this by Monday. And by some estimates, it costs up to $70 in online advertising to find one new $1 donor. Wow. 70 to 1. 70 to 1. And so what that means in real life is these candidates who are on the fringe of qualifying have to spend a lot of their time with big donors in order to raise the money to attract new small donors. Let me make sure I say that. You essentially need wealthy donors to give you a bunch of money. You can afford to buy the $1 contribution of 130000 less to meet these qualifications. You need rich people to help you find less rich people. Did you hear somebody right. saying right. yesterday that a bunch a of Republicans were donating to dollars raise to uh, small the hippie lady? Oh, really? <laughs> it's not surprising. I, I do too. I just don't want her to be no, president. But I'd rather her president than Trump. Oh, absolutely. By a long stretch. And she seems intelligent, probably understands psyche people. Whether she understands foreign policy and. And they turned a lot of their campaign this summer into trying to qualify for the debates in the fall as opposed to whatever other strategic imperatives they would have been trying to Keep do. going, girls. I come from a stage where a lot of people vote for Donald Trump. Let's not kid ourselves. He will be hard to beat. It means that somebody like Steve Bullock, the Montana governor, who in 1992 or 2004 or some sort of previous cycle would have been a very attractive national candidate for president. Look, I'm a pro-choice, pro-union, populist Democrat who won three elections in a red state, not by compromising our values, but by getting stuff done. A Democrat who's been elected in a predominantly Republican state who has a track record of actually quite impressive, oh my God. impressive accomplishments. <laughs> and she... Uh, you might want to let her out now just so she can run around and poop. Where is that guy have a dog? I don't think so. Uh, they propelled themselves towards winning the nomination. Did you lock the car? And perhaps the impact it would have on the place of the early states, Iowa and Iowa. That's right. Because I don't think anyone quite understood it at the time that that's what would happen. And as the early states have... I don't know what I'm, what I'm expecting. Bag off my back. I'm going to put a leash on her from the back her. Okay, so i got to get one leash out. That power has shifted... Hello. Oh my God. Hi, how are you? <laughs> is she not adorable? 
<laughs> it's hilarious. I know. And she's so funny, Jerry. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. Turner. Turner, smile. Big smile, Laura. Ah! 